Hello and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk. I am your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, and I'm joined by my co-host, Noelle Winters Herzog. Well, hello there. Oh, hello, Noelle. This is episode 152 of Teen Mom Trash Talk, and we're here, we're here to talk about 16 and Pregnant, season two, episode six, Samantha. I just want to put this out there. This is... Um this was an episode I wasn't expecting because I'm watching this and I'm like, oh, this is a regular person. And then I saw the inside of her. Yes. And um, I think that you made me want to watch this so like I wouldn't have kids. Like I think you you're actually trying to scare me. You actually watched it before I did. I remember watching this like when it happened. Uh, but yes. obviously I can't remember all the details, but yeah. you actually watched it before I did. So I wasn't sure what you were talking about when you told me, why did you make me watch this? I said, and Tracy, then I, why did you make me watch this? You tr- are trying to thwart me from having a child. This is what be, is happening. Well, we're going to get into that in a second. <laughs> but um, so let's talk about Samantha. She is. Okay. Uh, so they don't say how old she is, do they? Because I didn't see. I know that she's a senior in high school. So I'm assuming that she was 16 because she's going into her senior year. So like 17. But aren't you 17 when you're a senior? Depending on when your birthday is. She could be 16 or 17. I don't know. She looks she looks young. She is so adorable. She's from Rosenberg, Texas, and she lives with her mom, her mom's boyfriend, Greg, and her brother, Jacob. But now I'm seeing a pattern of pregnant moms. What do you mean? But I didn't. It's like I miss so much not watching the show because a lot of these moms are pregnant with their daughters. It's interesting. Yeah, because they're on their second round of kids. Wow. That's how it goes. So her parents aren't together, but they're very she's very close with her dad. Her parents uh, were her mom was 16 when she had her. And then when she was 18, they split up. Mm-hmm. And she shares her room with her brother, Jacob, and her mother is pregnant. I would have liked to have gotten to know more about Jacob. Same Z's. Uh-huh. I felt like he really got the short end of this stick. <laughs> he really did. Like, I want to know how he felt about this. His room is being uh, taken over by a baby. Okay, but I didn't understand. Okay, we're going to get into this, but I okay. didn't understand a lot of the logistics of the living situation. Okay, me so, too. Her boyfriend, Eric, is 18. They've been together two years. He's a senior this year as well. Mm-hmm. And guess what? She's pregnant. It's like, yeah, I know. It's called 16 and pregnant. That's why I'm like, uh, no surprise here, guys. So <laughs> it's September and she's 24 weeks pregnant. And uh, last year, last uh, school year, she hit her pregnancy. But this year she can't because she's showing she's basically going to pop soon. Right. Oh, yeah. So, so her, she's nervous. Her friend Haley and her friend Jesse and a few other friends come over. Uh, and we find out that her and Eric go to different schools. And he, she's planning on moving in with Eric. Mm-hmm. Which is not he, a good idea. <laughs> it's not a good idea, but at the same time... Well, there's no place for her in her house anyway. Right. Eric, Eric's family has an extra room. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could see it, but it's just, I just feel like they're babies, you know? It's just, I don't know. Okay, well, we know that they're babies because one of her friends says, well, you can't really prevent pregnancy. And her other friend goes, yeah, you can. I blacked out. I blacked out. And then her other friend is like explaining what she's like, you know, there's condoms, there's birth control, there's like a million different things. And her friend that said that you can't prevent pregnancy, it looked like she had an explosion in her brain. She did. It looked like she was like, what do you mean you can prevent pregnancy? And it's like, how about just don't let a guy blow a load in you? Like we always say. Right. She her her friend was like, what do you mean you can prevent pregnancy? That's not what my pastor told me. <laughs> oh, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they also uh, she talks about like how many people are always pregnant at her school and they have a family class at school. Yeah. Like th- that girls just walk down the hallway with bumps. There uh, is clearly an epidemic in her town. Mm -hmm. So she has to tell her mom she's moving out. And when her mom found out that she was having sex with Eric, she made her switch schools and live with her father. I love that. I love that her mom was tough with her like that. I do, too. But Eric's mom helped them hang out. She would uh, drive them places. She would make sure that they were in touch. And her mom is really mad at his mom, Estella. I don't blame her, though. I think she has every right to be mad. For sure. So they go for sonograms, but the families don't get along. So both of the mothers can't go. It's like, what would happen if they did? Like, would they fist fight? I don't know. I mean, (laughs) we've seen it happen on, uh, you know, on this teen mom. We've seen it happen. 
So it turns out it's a girl. So she goes to the nail salon with her mom and she talks about how she's scared. And she, I got to tell you, when she was sad, I was sad. I felt so bad for her because I I don't think it really hit her until then. Like, wow, what is going to happen? Mm-hmm. I, th- first of all, I got to squeeze this thing out. But right. then like, I'm going to be a mom. Like, and that's I it. Know, well, and she said, this is like a bigger responsibility even than having a hamster. Yeah. I mean, listen, hamsters are a big responsibility, Tracy. They are. So now we go back to her bedroom and Jacob's in bed and he's got a poster of shirtless John Cena over his bed. And it made me laugh so hard. Did you think of Anthony DiDomenico? I did. I did. I was like, look at look at Jacob with this hot bod <laughs> over his bed. It's this so is funny. so funny. I mean, honestly, sharing a room with your brother has to be so weird. I mean, she can't even uh, have a little fun. She can't even go for a spin. That's true. She can't go for a spin. <laughs> Did you like that? That was funny. Oh, man. But guess what? You can because we've been in the house a lot. And I got to tell you, Adam and Eve says the best part of staying at home is playing at home. Ooh, I like that. Adam and Eve is so much fun. You can order all different sex toys. You could try things out. They have outfits. They have like a lot of stuff. They have thousands of products that make you glad you're staying at home. It sounds like a good time to me. You could take advantage of the downtime and choose almost any one item at 50% off. And when you do, you get 10 free boredom busting gifts, including six spicy movies. Ooh. And a three piece bonus kit. Now, last week when we talked about this, Anthony DiDomenico thought I said a three piece boner <laughs> kit. And he was like, "Ooh, I would like that. I mean, listen, I would like a three piece boner kit or bonus kit. Well, also, there's free shipping. It's delivered discreetly right to your door. So your brother Jacob is not going to know what's in the box. Huh. Don't even worry about it. Uh, sex toys make being at home so enjoyable. Hell, even shopping from home is more enjoyable when you're shopping for sex toys. It really is. It's much better than shopping for Lysol wipes. I would much rather be shopping for a sex toy than shopping Guys, for disinfectants. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Guys, go to adamandeve.com and use that offer code Teen Mom Trash Talk. So that's T M T T. Go to adamandeve.com and use that offer code T M T T for 50% off any one item and free shipping. Awesome. All right. So it's the first day of school. And she's very nervous and she's so Everyone, cute with her little headphones on. <laughs> she was adorable. Everyone was staring. But, um, you know, listen, she got through the day and now Eric's going to take her bowling. Right. So Eric's going to take her bowling, which I think is super cute. It reminds me like, oh, remember youth? You didn't have to do anything. You were allowed to just go out and do things. Right? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's so weird. You didn't have to clean your house or do laundry? Nothing. (laughs) Nothing. So they're talking about graduating. And her parents had her when they were 16. um, And she's doing homebound school. So she talks to her dad, John, and he asks what her plan is. Right. And her dad's like, listen, I don't want you to move in with Eric because I think that it's repetitive and you're going to get pregnant again. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't think he's really wrong, though. History repeats. Okay, but... Yes, but can we put her on birth control? Here's the thing. You see, we've watched the show. You and I are versed in in teen pregnancies. These girls forget to take it. They just forget to take it. Okay, cool. Can we get her the depo shot? Can we give her an IUD? See, I think that is a great idea. Get her the shot. I mean, honestly, she's had a serious boyfriend. She should have been on the shot. Right. I'm just saying, like, something that you don't have to remember. Yes, well, here's the thing. I just feel like her dad is saying like, oh, you can't go live with him. But also he's not offering a solution. No. And her dad was kind of I don't know. He just seemed almost like standoffish. Very absent. Yeah. Yes. Very, very absent. So it's like, oh, you can't go live with your boyfriend. But like, oh, also you can't come live with me. And what happened? I thought she was living with her dad. Right. I don't know. It's all I guess maybe her dad was like, I don't want you to live here. I don't know. Yeah, her dad was like, yuck, this isn't fun. He wasn't interested. Nope. So her and her mom sit to talk. And it turns out her dad ratted her out to her mom. Okay, but my mom used to rat me out to my dad all the time. And my parents were divorced my entire life. And if I would call my mom with like a problem, she would call my dad and tell him. It was really annoying. Wow. Yeah, I know. Thanks, mom. Yeah. So her mom doesn't want her to move, but there's no space there. Here's the thing. I get it. I totally get it. I mean, it's not the ideal situation, but where Mm -hmm. are you putting the baby? Okay. I agree with you because the mother is pregnant and it's like, where are they going to put this baby to? Okay. So didn't she say that 
her brother would be sharing a room with the baby. Yes. That's why I don't what does understand that mean? what that meant. Right. I don't know. What does that mean? So it's like, okay, maybe the Jacob and baby A and B are going to mm-hmm. share a room. Then the mom and dad are going to have a room and then she's going to stay on the couch. I, I don't think that's a good idea. So now I mean, Jacob's never allowed to go to sleep ever again. No, I know. That's what I mean. I feel bad for Jacob. Jacob should like be on the couch. No, I mean, he should be in a bedroom and like she should be on the couch and maybe with the baby and like her mom should be or, or put the kids in the mom's room. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. Like, this, I know. It doesn't wrong. work out. Yeah. Something's definitely wrong. So it's like I, I understand it, but like move to Eric's house. Yeah, I'm sorry. Move to Eric's house. Or make a room over the garage or something. <laughs> well, I think that they just rent the house. I don't think they're, they're like, uh, you know. I did so, notice that they have a very big kitchen. For I mean, for the size of the house. For the size so maybe of the someone, house, yeah. Maybe someone lives in the kitchen. So now she goes prom dress shopping, so adorable, and she brings it home, and her mom goes, what size is that? And she goes, oh, it's a 13, and her mom goes, wow. Yeah, that was like snarky. What are you doing? Okay, so she said that she got super cute corsages. Okay. Were corsages, because I don't really know what they were. Mm-hmm. When they took the pictures, those uh-huh. silver tinsel yes. garland things. That's what she called a corsage. A corsage is usually like something like you wear around your wrist. That's what I thought. Like you get it from the florist. Right. Like yeah. a flower. Yeah. Like this looked like I put it on my Christmas tree. This was like a party decoration that she pinned to her dress. Like a tablescape. <laughs> and then she made, I, it looked like a centerpiece. I know. That he, that he had, and he had one too. I know, but that's what I didn't understand. I'm like, but why? Are, I can't even see her dress. I don't even know. So <laughs> she said that the prom was super lame. It was a casino theme prom. And she's doing six weeks. Eric's having second thoughts about moving in. So basically he takes it back. Yeah, that was kind of rude. It was kind of like, I'll leave it up to you. And it's like, that means no. Right. So now uh, it's December. She's 34 weeks. And in two weeks, she is due. I Isn't it 40 weeks? I mean, honestly, Tra- I'm going to sound really dumb right now. I thought it was like 34 weeks, 32 weeks. No. Mm -hmm. So, guys, uh, I thought it was 40 weeks where you're like, I think it's 36 to 40 weeks where you're like full term. Okay. Um, Obviously, someone listening to this is going to know the answer to that. Mm -hmm. So please go over to Teen Mom Trash Talk podcast on Facebook and tell us what you think about her being fully ripe to give birth at 36 weeks. And why couldn't they wait a little while? Okay. cool. So their parents are still not talking. Their moms are not talking. And so they had to have two separate baby showers. That sucks. It sucks so bad. So now her moms are going to go to dinner. So their whole families are going to dinner with each other. And they are not talking to each other. They sit down. They look down. They're not speaking. So she says to Eric, uh, what are you going to get to drink? And he's like, I think a Supreme. Okay. What is that? What is that? I have no clue. Because he said that. And I'm like, does he mean a Supreme pizza? Like what's happening? I don't know, but to drink. And then I'm like, oh my God, is that an alcoholic drink? And now everyone's mad at him that he said that. (laughs) I don't know. And then I'm like, oh, they're just not speaking. This is just awkward. So now she starts talking Mm -hmm. and she like starts a conversation between the two moms. And I got to tell you, his mom was like, you know what? I didn't understand at first why you were mad at me. Yes. I didn't understand why you were doing this. And now I understand. And I apologize 100%. I uh, I'm really sorry. And then his uh, her mom was like, listen, I'm going to tell you why I was upset. This is why I was upset. Uh, Basically, I forgive you. And she's like, "Okay, great. And then that was it. It was very healthy. I loved it. Yeah, I loved it because it was taking the stress off the kids so much. But I just feel like I don't know. I guess so. So many people are stubborn. Like, could you just say that before? Okay, but they said it now. It's fine. Yeah, Yeah, I guess. So now she's going to go, uh, she's going to homeschool for six weeks after the baby comes and yada, yada, yada. She's getting induced because she went past her due date. Right. Now I thought that this was really adorable. The entire family went to the hospital. Yeah. I love that. I think that's so cute. Everyone that Eric ever met mm-hmm. was at the hospital I along love it. with anyone that ever met Samantha. So, um, the doctor starts the Pitocin. I loved her doctor. So did I. Yes. 
So she started the Pitocin and she slept all night long. She barely could even feel her cr- contractions until bum, bum, they bum. broke her water. Yep. Then they put her on oxygen. She's only two centimeters dilated and she had back labor, which means that the baby's head is like leaning against your back. Tracy, the screams that were coming okay. from her. The screams, she was going to fight someone. I couldn't even believe it. She's now in uh, labor for 14 hours. She's not dilating. They're giving her an epidural early. Now she's in labor for 21 hours, and she's three centimeters. Now 24 hours, uh, they said probably we'll have a C-section. 25 hours, they're like, okay, let's go. So I just want to throw this out there. In February, I lived this with a very Mm -hmm. good friend of mine. This is exactly what happened. And it was... I felt so terrible because it's kind of like, why wouldn't they have offered a C-section earlier? Am I crazy for thinking that? Like it may be. Yes. I'm going to tell you why, because really, ideally, you don't want to have a C-section. Right. So it's like worth a shot. You want to do everything you can to not do it. Absolutely. But, you know, hindsight, of course, it's frustrating because you're like, I just did 25 hours of labor. This wasn't. Well, that's the thing. Like my friend was really uncomfortable and this poor little girl, same thing. And it's like, oh, I don't, yeah. you don't want to see them suffer like that. Sure. But at the same time, if she would have had natural birth, she would have bounced back so much quicker. That's she would have been true. in less pain. It's mm-hmm. better for you to, ha- you know. So the baby, uh, they go into the C-section and now this is where the part that you love. Tracy. Okay, so I see the scalpel, and I see them yep. make the cut, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is graphic. But yeah. then they open the inside of her, uh-huh. and uh-huh. they take the baby out of her. With a plunger, with a toilet plunger. Tracy, I'm watching this with Matt. Matt's like, they got the plunger! <laughs> like, he was so excited, and I was like, my ears are ringing. Like, my ears gotta are I got to tell you, I thought that this was the most non-graphic, simple... Uh, c-section i've ever seen listen i i will agree because i've seen c-sections and they're gnarly and this wasn't but it was more like i wasn't expecting it and i was surprised that they Mm. showed that much this is the only 16 and pregnant where i've ever seen anything like that yep i really liked it so the baby comes out seven pounds eight ounces jordan Mm j-o-r-d-y-y-n oh it's good they spell really good Mm -hmm. they spell Mm -hmm. so good Mm -hmm. december 22nd she was born cute christmas baby almost right his whole entire family is there and now this is what i wrote down her dad okay. comes mm-hmm. to see her i guess like maybe the day after or whatever he's yeah. kind of hands off yeah again he's very standoffish he's not warm no he's mm-hmm. like all right you okay all right i gotta yeah. go okay bye uh so she's in a ton of pain and the baby has so much hair she's so cute that baby's now, so cute there was some kind of problem. She had a fever right. and she couldn't see the baby until the next day because she had a fever. And also she w- wound up spending six days in the hospital. Okay. My friend after her C-section had a fever, couldn't see the baby, spend six days in the hospital. Oh, that's it's so, so crazy. crazy. And it's so like, she- I guess maybe a fever after surgery. Is that normal? It could be. Sure. Yeah. But they just want to make sure you're not having, uh, like, that or you're not anything. sick or anything. Right. Right. So her mom, Soledad, right? Uh, right. She comes home to her. And I got to tell you, the wood paneling in the house is a little too much. Every time I see wood paneling <laughs> in a house like this, I'm like, everyone lives in the basement. It's so funny because you that, that was like one of the first things I noticed in the house was the wood paneling. Oh, my God. So now what is the sleeping arrangement? What is the Christmas tree is what I'm more concerned <laughs> about. <laughs> <laughs> well, then they, then they're like, okay, now the baby's one week old. A.K. It's the next day, right? Right, but and it's like also wh- you're right though. Where are the sleeping arrangements? <laughs> so her friends come over, and Eric has to go back to school and work. And again, the baby has even more hair today. Okay, next question for you: Aren't the yes. kids supposed to be in empty cribs? Yes, there was one hundred things in the crib. Well. I mean, she's 16. What are okay. you going to do? Listen, okay. You really, you really roll the dice sometimes. I mean, you're uh, right, though. <laughs> <laughs> so she said it's too hard to take care of her. So she makes Eric get up with the baby, too, even though he has school and work, uh, which I thought it was a little weird, but he yeah. works at Subway. Mm-hmm. And that sounds delicious. Yum. She's mad that he gets to go to work. But so they talk and he starts helping more. Right now. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, her mom has Greg Jr. Yeah. Right. Fun name. 
<laughs> right? So uh, now the baby's nine weeks old, and Eric's mom watches the baby during the day. Right. And she, again, is like, I still need more help. I need more help. But he was nice. He was really trying to understand her. No, I like that. I feel like he was actually really patient with her. And that's not yes. something you see very much. Yes. So her mom, I got to tell you, mm -hmm. they sit down. They have a heart to heart in maybe the only bedroom in the house. I don't know yes. whose bedroom it is. Uh -huh. And her mom seems like very kind. Oh, her mom is really nice to her. And her mom could, you know, a lot of these moms you see on these shows are like low key angry with the daughter. And sure. she's not. She's not. She's well, really she was, nice. But, you know, yeah, no, but she's being so, like empathetic. Yes. So she said that she, uh, you know, Samantha said I should have waited. Uh, and, you know. And she said that she doesn't know if her and Eric will last. Now, I, I, I wonder. I wonder okay, what the well, outcome. Okay, well, I got to tell you, I did a little bit of research here. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, <laughs> this is actually not the typical teen mom story. Tell me. Oh, my God, I'm excited <laughs> that you did some digging. Okay. So her and Eric are still together. What? So it turned out that um, after 16 and pregnant, after this aired, they tried to live together, but it didn't work out. So they mm -hmm. both, uh, you know, I guess moved back into their parents' houses and but they did stay together. They happened to get engaged. I don't know if they're married right now, but she's a 911 dispatcher. She didn't have any more kids. It's just her, Jordan and Eric and everything seems to be fine. She's on Twitter and everything she posts is extremely normal. She's wow. adorable. She looks great. Her daughter's so cute. Eric looks great. There's pictures of them all together. Tracy, that makes me happy. That do, it never turns out that way. You know? I don't know. Yeah. I feel like um I almost feel like I sound like fake and phony baloney, but like I really didn't know any of this. And it's really nice and refreshing to hear that. I know, but I was also kind of like Come on, you can't get arrested one time. No, no, not one time. No houses with feces and urine everywhere. Like, come on, guys. You can't do just, I'm not asking you to like overdose, but like you can't have a smidgen of meth. You can't have a side kid. <laughs> like something. You can't sacrifice a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> come on, make this interesting. So you know what, Samantha? Thumbs down. Two thumbs down on Samantha. Very boring. Uh... Try, kind of, you know, I mean, there, it's funny because people were saying that her episode was actually glorifying teen pregnancy. I don't think it was glorifying it the, at all. But the girl shared a room with her brother and had to raise the baby and in John the room Cena. with her. And John Cena, naked John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, if you're listening to this, you know that our live podcast is coming up Saturday, July 11th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you go to trashtalk.eventbrite.com for tickets. It's available. Uh, the links are in all of our social medias. You can find uh, everything that I'm doing at tracycarnazzo.com and all of my social media is at Trixie Tuzini uh, on Instagram and Twitter. And you could follow the podcast at Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram, Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter, uh, and all of the stuff. I mean, do all, all the, the stuff. stuff. But guess what? We also what? have Patreon and we're about to record our Patreon episode right now. And that's patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Because guess what? You will get over 100 bonus episodes. O-M-G. Do it. Do it. Guys, do it. You, you want to follow me? You want to follow me? Do it. All right. I want to follow you. Or I do. Follow me on Twitter at Noe Girl or Noe underscore Bear 810 on Instagram. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much for listening. And we'll literally see you so, so soon. Because guess what? After the live podcast, we have an after party on Zoom where everyone's going to be able to see each other. What? Guys, just remember, Slurpee. 7-Eleven. Slurpee. 7-Eleven. Okay, bye. Bye.